This card is, in our opinion, the most significant baseball card ever made. We have it right here. It is from 1914, one of only 10 in existence, and it pictures Babe Ruth as a 19-year-old member of the Baltimore Orioles of the International League. This is the first time that Babe Ruth ever appears on any collectible, and it's hugely significant for many, many, many reasons. Yeah, so the auction kicked off last week. We've already secured 12 bids for the card. Bidding opened up at $2.5 million, and now it sits at $6.3 million. Um, by the time the auction ends in just a little less than two weeks, we expect that the card will sell for upwards of $10 million or more. If you go back and you look at the sale history of this Baltimore News Babe Ruth, in the 1980s it sold for $18,000, and in the 1990s it sold for $99,000, and in the 2000s we set the record at over $100,000 for the first time. It was one of the very few cards that had ever crossed that six-figure threshold. So there's just been a constant increase in attention for the card, appreciation for the card. Back now the other way. This Ruth card is actually one of the few in this set of Baltimore news cards that shows the player in, in full profile. Uh, you see Ruth here, he's wearing the, the large overcoat of the team. He's got a glove on his hand, stirrups pulled up high. Um, 19 years old, I mean, when I look at this card, I can't help but realize that Babe Ruth is being really exposed to the world for the first time in this picture. And he's completely unaware of not only the world around him, but certainly what he's going to go on to become and how big of a name he will be in sport and in culture. Well, we've seen a crazy explosion in sports cards the past few years, and something like that, what might have been shocking five years ago, to me today, might not be the craziest thing. That was a card that has very little uh, population, only 10 known copies. Yeah, so I think it's a lot to be that plays on nostalgia. People have come back into the space over the past, let's say, five, three years, and it was really kickstarted by COVID. People are going through their attics, finding this old stuff they had, and it brought back a lot of feelings of nostalgia. Just like that concept, you want to get that car you couldn't afford when you were 18, that red Corvette. Now you can go back and get that Mickey Mantle card, or in this case, Babe Ruth from 1914, something that was a grail piece for a lot of people. Now people with a little extra money in their pocket can start to uh, put that to use and get something they could never afford. For a lot of people, they look at this as art. Someone from my generation would never put $10 million into Picasso painting, that means nothing to me. But a Babe Ruth card as a Yankee fan for somebody, that could be in one of one uh, collection piece. 